Welcome back to the starters. Live from Summer League. They're not People cheering excited. for us. Yeah, they're, they're not, not exactly right. They're definitely not cheering for us. We uh, we have one Aussie. We thought we'd add another. Jazz point guard Dante Exum joining us here live on set. Fresh off your first game here at Summer League. A great game, by the way. Ten points, three boards, three assists. Came in a loss, unfortunately. But how'd you feel there in, in your first game there? Yeah, it was it was a bit nervous. Um, right. But, you know, I just got out on the court and just tried to play my game and let it come to me. And, um, yeah, so just it got to the fourth quarter and, you know, we went down. So I was hoping that we could get the win, but we didn't. So Your first basket, Dante, was an alley-oop from Trey. Uh, uh, we nearly got a second one at the end. And, yeah, right. and that, that was crucial for us. But, um, you know, it, it's good to have Trey on the team and um, be able to run point and, and two if we need to. Uh, you were dubbed the international man of mystery because a lot of guys don't know about you coming into this draft, but not many guys who come from overseas have a father who actually played in the NBA. Yours did, Cecil. Uh, he actually played with Michael Jordan too in college. What did he tell you about coming into the NBA and just the process about being drafted and, and now what you're going to be facing? Yeah, the main thing about it was just to um, kind of live in the moment. He says that um, it's going to pass you by real fast and uh, when I look up, I'm, I'm going to be 30 years old and uh, think about what happened. So um, he's just, uh, just about... To just enjoy the moment, um, play for every game, and, and that's what I'm trying to do. Are you enjoying this moment right now? I am. You're on the start. <laughs> You're on the I want to know why, you know, growing up in Australia, I, I lived there for a little bit, obviously not as much as Lee, but why did you end up, was it your father maybe, but why did you go with basketball and not Aussie rules football? Because you got the build to be a great <laughs> yeah. AFL player as well. I was always a, a kid that liked to play indoor sports. And okay. During the winter, it gets cold, and <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to be in that mud. So you know, you, you know you're going to Utah. It's gonna it's gonna feel like make Melbourne feel like it's summer and winter. You know. Yeah. So, but I've never been in the snow, so um, I'm looking forward about? to that. <laughs> so that was, so it helped just playing indoors. You just yeah. like being inside. I right? like being inside. Fair enough.